Hello guys, welcome back. It's Easy Electronic Channel as always with another update on my super cool, super crazy bench power supply for a electronic slab. If you hadn't seen the previous videos, I would really advise you to go back and watch them. Otherwise, this might not make sense to you what you're about to see. So in this video, we will be doing a couple of things. So first of all, I want to uh, work on the front panel. We're going to cut out some holes for the screens and I will be installing some things on the front panel uh, so we will get a first look at how the front panel will look with all the switches and everything. So let's get right into the video and you'll see what I had achieved so far. So I am back and I got more exciting things to show you. So I have finally secured the power supplies in place as you can see they're not going anywhere and i did that by adding a couple of stoppers if i only could focus so as you can see i have added uh, rubber stoppers here and uh, there okay so they are uh, the sides are squeezing the power supplies and they are not going anywhere whatsoever so they are nice and secure inside and easy to take out if I have to. So that is that. The extra cables are tucked inside uh, by the side there. So they're nice and neat. Uh, the airflow can easily get into the power supply and out. And the same thing on the top into the fan and out on the back. Here are... Uh, the bottom so we got nice uh, soft pads on the bottom so on the front we have no uh, front panel because I have it in my hands and here it is I was working on it really really hard and here it is so let me just focus on it so we have all the necessary holes everything is properly drilled countersinked and here's the two holes for the screen and uh, yeah, I will just get the paper that I had uh, my plan uh, that I traced all the holes from and I will show you that it's almost the exact copy of the paper. So here it is, as you can see, that is uh, the paper that we have traced all the holes from, as you can see, and that is the real deal. There is a couple extra holes for mounting the front panel, but Overall, it's exactly uh, the same, and if I put it like that, you can see that all the holes match uh, almost perfectly. And uh, yeah, I mean, that is a really good way to put everything together and see how it's going to look like before you assemble it. And we are further into our project, and I have gotten far really far in terms of uh, how the thing looks and if you don't know we are building a really cool uh really cool two channel um power supply for a lab and this is the front uh, panel from it okay i taped uh everything because i have all of the knobs installed all of the banana plugs fuses switches and uh, all of that and I don't want it to scratch but this is the back of uh, the unit if we can only focus so as you can see we have a decent amount of stuff on the back lots of switches lots of fuses another one there and uh, we have to connect it all up now that is not the only problem we have something else yes guys we have another problem I still have two boost converters, which I have to uh, place somewhere. Now, where is a good question. Uh, I really don't know where uh, they will go because fact of the matter is I have to mount them somewhere and uh, uh, probably I won't be able to mount it on the back of the front panel because uh, there's just not enough uh, space and uh, I don't know they have to go somewhere and I really have to fit them 
but where is the question and I'm really struggling right now so I don't know what to do um, I will have to figure something out probably I will have to mount them somewhere close to the power supplies on the back and uh, then when that is done we run wires to the front panel and uh, that would be it so as you can see you have a whole bunch of stuff and uh, this is the two uh, measuring modules with the screen on the back and um, it's all hot glued in place uh, that's as far as I went um, I figured out that's pretty secure I might add some silicone later on but that's it for now we have uh, two pots for each channel current and voltage hadn't decided which one will do what but we can always change it no big deal uh, we have five switches on this front panel so four and then one there mains power mains power fuse and two neon light bulbs just like I showed you on the diagram if you hadn't seen the previous video there will be cards for you to click on that right there so you can always uh, see other uh, videos that are made uh, for this power supply and perhaps other uh, projects I do on this channel and uh, as you can see uh, you know I, I have a plan to put a back plate here so nothing can touch anything there and uh, you know if if the boost converters fit I can possibly fit them here on the back but uh, you know everything will be held on hot glue which isn't the best idea so I figured out I might actually mount the boost converters on the back uh, right by the power supplies obviously we have to isolate it but um, you know the challenges of building something like this so that's the front panel it's taped a nice matte finish okay uh, fuses there's four switches here as I said before and uh, potentiometers I can actually show you the potentiometers right here so as you can see 10 turn no problem whatsoever and uh, I taped it because I will be placing it upside down and I don't want uh, to scratch anything so yeah um, I think that's it for now I don't really have anything else to show you but uh, I will be back soon and uh, you know once I have something decent to show and uh, I'll actually tell you but for now I have no idea what I'm doing so guys that's about it for this video you all know what to do like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you hadn't subscribed already and yeah you're going to see some of my other videos on your screen i really hope you click on some of them and you'll make me the happiest person ever and uh, yeah as always see you in the next video